is a dark morning for Nigerians as news reports reaching says that the chief of army staff, Major General Ibrahim Abola Gambari, that was born on the 24th of November 1944 and became the chief of staff to the president of Nigeria on the 13th of May 2021, sadly lost his life on the 21st of May 2021. 21. According to a report by the Nigerian Air Force, it was an official duty to Kaduna State when the aircraft that he was on crashed along Kaduna. He was on his way to Kaduna for an official duty and he lost his life. Not just his life was lost, but that of 10 other people who were in the aircraft with him including a flight lieutenant aa olufade who got married two months ago and a certain man that was going to get married next month a flight lieutenant a sunny co he was one of those who died in the kaduna jet crash news reports added that the wife to the chief of army staff mrs fatsi atayuru was involved in the aircraft crash but they've come out to debunk the news saying that it was not one of those that were involved in the crash which i guess is some kind of good news right at least the wife is alive so if you are wondering who atayiru ibrahim is it was the one that was appointed by president muhammad buhari to replace the late chief of army staff, staff who lost his life to COVID-19, Abakiari, in 2020 April. The office of the chief of army staff was actually implemented by the former president of Nigeria, Olusha Obasanjo, in 1999, and it was modeled after the White House chief of staff. The duty of the chief of army staff is assigned by the president, but they have primarily focused on managing the flow of information and people advising the president on various issues. And they are considered very influential in the presidency. Ibrahim Abola Gambari was born on the 24th of November 1944. He is a Nigerian academic and diplomat who was serving as the chief of staff to the president of Nigeria. He is from a Lauren Quara state. He was born to a Fulani ruling class family. His nephew is Ibrahim Sulu Gambari, the Emir of Lauren. He attended King's College Lagos. He subsequently attended the Lagos, the London School of Economics, where he obtained his BSc degree in 1968 with specialization in international relations. After that, he obtained his Master of Arts in 1970 and his PhD degree in 1974 from Columbia University, New York, USA in political science slash international relations. He started his career journey in the academics. He began teaching in 1969 at the City University of New York before working at the University of Albany. Later, he went ahead to teach at the Hamadou Bello University in Zaria, Kaduna State from 1986 to 1989. Before his demise, he was the chancellor of the Quara State University that he got that position on the 4th of March 2013 by the governor of Quara State, Abdul Fattah Ahmad. Not only that, it was decorated with the title of the commander of the Federal Republic, CFR, by the government of Nigeria. He is the founder, or he was the founder and chairman of the Savannah Center. He was the co-chair of the Albert Gambare Commission. He was a member of the John Hopkins University's Society of scholar it was the chairperson of the panel of eminent persons of the african peer review mechanism not only that he was sent or appointed to lead offensive attack against boko haram for the northeast part of niger in may of 2017 he also worked as a general officer commanding 82 division of the nigerian army shortly before his appointment as the chief of army staff this man is an erudite scholar who has been involved in so many things from being a teacher to being a major general and a 
an army man and a military officer and although he was appointed in january he didn't resume office until may of 2021 of 20 and prior to his untimely demise a week ago his house was boggled but he said that they targeted the official residence of the late chief of staff around the presidential villa in abuja but they were unable to get access to it he described it as a foolish attempt to boggle his residence he escaped that unsuccessful attempt only to lose his life but not just his life 10 other crew members including young men who were one was planning to get married the other got married two months ago so his wife is now a widow lost their lives in that untimely crash and according to them they said the jet crashed due to a bad weather the defense headquarters said bad weather was responsible for the crash of a nigerian army force beachcraft 350 at the Kaduna International Airport. They said it claimed 11 souls that were on board, including the newly appointed Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atsairu. They said the sacrifices of the departed hero will not be in vain. We hope it will not be in vain, according to the statements that they gave. Also, not only did they give this statements the director of public relations and information of the nigerian air force was the one who broke the news to us and he said they had briefed the president of nigeria that his new chief of army staff is now departed from the world we hope to god that his family and that of his loved ones are able to bear the loss and god gives them the fortitude to go through this irreparable loss that has befallen them and also that the president the office of the president will be able to bear this loss because this second chief of army staff that president M. Buhari will have since ascending office in 2015 he had abakiari from 2015 until 2020 when he lost his life and shortly after he appointed the now late general ibrahim abola atayu gambari he lost his life and he will have to appoint a new chief of staff who we hope will live long enough to serve fully his boss in office let me know what you think concerning this because there are several conspiracy theories with people saying that this seems like a plan work although we don't understand most people are actually saying that this is a systemic failure and nigeria basically failed our heroes failed our military personnel who are trying and who wanted the best for this country let me also think in the comment section if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one that is all i have for you concerning the biography and lifetime of the late chief of Amistad, ibrahim atairu gambari bye